Turning now to the funeral fallout stemming from a funeral mass that was held for transgender activist Cecilia Gentili at St. Patrick's Cathedral last week. Well, now the archdiocese is condemning her funeral, saying that they were deceived into hosting the service. Fox News' Ashley Rodriguez has the latest on the controversy. The funeral started out as most St. Patrick's Cathedral parishioners would expect one to. But outrage would soon fester from the services held for 52-year-old Cecilia Gentili, a trans woman, an advocate for sex workers, and an outspoken atheist. Thank you, Lord. Gay actor and singer Billy Porter, who worked with Gentili on the FX television hit series Pose, sang at the services, followed by speakers whose attire and words left old school Catholics watching by live stream stunned as some of the mourners used inappropriate language in the eulogy including a derogatory word for prostitute over and over again. While the audience packed with fellow trans and LGBTQ members and allies roared in delight at the humor, members of the church balked. Bill Donahue from the more conservative Catholic League writing, men dressed as women and women dressed as men. At the service, many of those in attendance dressed as hookers, danced in the aisles, sang Ave Cecilia when Ave Maria was sung. Ave Maria. When parishioners heard about the service, they wanted to know how St. Patrick's could let this happen. We reached out and Rector Enrique Salvo sent us a statement. Thanks to so many who have let us know they share our outrage over the scandalous behavior at a funeral here at St. Patrick's Cathedral earlier this week. The cathedral only knew that family and friends were requesting a funeral mass for a Catholic and had no idea our welcome and prayer would be degraded in such a sacrilegious and deceptive way. I feel like for a place that is really traditional, yeah. it might be a little bit too much. Even though like I'm part of the LGBTQ, I don't think it's like the right place for it, you know, especially like a place where it's like very like safe and respected for other people. Cardinal Timothy Dolan, the Archbishop of New York, authorized a mass of reparation while the rector requests prayer as the event happened during Lent. Ashley Rodriguez. Cecilia! Cecilia! Fox 5 News.